The coronavirus has forced salons, some restaurants, stores to close, including the place where people would go to get in shape, the gym. Reporter Nana St. Jubansi shows us what traders say that you can do with things inside your home to get in a good workout. You've seen the push-up challenge on Instagram. Friends motivating each other to get their workouts in. And it helps, you know, because a lot of people aren't motivated, and especially if they can't get to a gym. Because usually when people are at home, they just want to relax. Brandon Farrington is a personal trainer who had to shut down his gym in Norfolk due to the coronavirus. He says just because the gym is closed, it doesn't mean your goals are out the window. He uploads workout videos online for his clients as a guide. I mean, all you need is your body, a, you know, positive mindset, and you can get it done. He says you don't need all the heavy equipment either. Use what's in your house. You can pick up those cleaning products that a lot of people bought. The Lysol, the toilet paper. You can pick up the cases of water. You can curl those. And if you're tired of being in the house, you can step out for fresh air and a workout. We ran into a medical student on her run. It's a good escape for people that are you know, hold up inside. Ryan Gauss is a personal trainer who focuses on using the outdoors as your gym. As much of a luxury as a gym is, you just have to learn to be creative. He says the light poles in the yeah. park can be used as a prop. But he says all you need is your body. We got in on some of the fun to see how easy it is to exercise without a gym and some equipment. We started out with jumping jacks, lunges, and of course, squats. And relax. If you do need some company or a hand, these trainers say get your kids involved. Some people have kids. I just, one of my clients, she, she just picked up her baby boy and was doing some squats with him in, a, in her arms. You can have him run in place right here. Basic jumping jacks. In Norfolk, Nanacintio Bonsu, News 3.